One of those categories you've mentioned is, of course, the uh, two Eids. Dr. Zakia, why is fasting prohibited on the two Eids? The Eidain, the two Eids, Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha, they are the days of festival. And a Muslim normally goes out to pray in a congregation. He comes back, he meets his family members, meets the relatives, meets the friends. So, but natural, the day of festival and fasting, they don't go together. And furthermore, during Eid al-Fitr, it is the end of the month of fasting. So how can you fast after the end of the month of fasting? And in Eid al-Adha, it's a day of sacrifice. You slaughter an animal. Imagine you sacrifice an animal and you're not eating the meat of the animal you have sacrificed. So that is the reason that these two days, it's prohibited to fast. And the beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number two, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2410, that the Prophet said, it is prohibited to fast on the two Eids. Eid al-Adha, because you sacrifice the animal and you will not be able to eat the meat of the animal you sacrifice. And Eid al-Fitr, because it marks the end of fasting. So these two are the reasons why to fast on Eidain, the two Eid days prohibited.